hello everyone today we'll be learning about fork and join so this is a parallel block and this is specified by the keywords fork and join all the statements in a parallel block start at the time when the block is block was entered so this fork and join block it starts with fork and join okay so whatever is written inside this fork and join so let's say uh, there are four statements are four, st four statements have been written here okay so all the statements they run sequence uh, sorry uh, they run parallelly and they run independently so at zero time step this runs this runs this runs and this is evaluated so all these statements all the four statements are evaluated and executed parallelly and they run independently and not sequentially and this fork and join are not synthesizable this is not a synthesizable construct okay so here the statements are executed concurrently inside fork and join so as all these statements whatever is written inside a fork and join this parallel block this is called parallel block okay this parallel this fork and join is called parallel block so whatever is written inside the as whatever is written inside this fork and join this uh, this is evaluated and executed independently or concurrently so it doesn't matter the way uh, the way the statements are written so the statement that is written in the block is not important okay because they run independently and they run parallelly and they run concurrently the fork join is used to combine group of statements in a single block okay so this is uh, this is the syntax for uh, fork and join so it starts with fork and then join it uh, then inside the fork and join we can have many number of statements and all these statements executes parallelly so we can have uh, more than one number of fork and join in our design and this fork and join is normally used uh, for uh, not for designing but for testing purpose to che to check the functionality of our design that is uh, Uh, while writing the test bench we can use fork and join we can take advantage of this construct fork and join uh, this is one of the example range x y then range 1 is 2 0 z w initial fork fork then see everything inside the initial block we know that whatever is written inside the initial 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 block everything runs sequentially but what is inside what is written inside this fork and join they run parallelly that you have to remember okay so in initial then this one is fork then x equal to 1 b 0 so this is this this is evaluated this is executed at time step 0 let's say 0 nanosecond then after 5 nanosecond this one then after at 5 nanosecond at five, see at 0 nanosecond x equal to 0 at 5 nanosecond y equal to 1 at 10 nanosecond it it is not see all these statements run parallelly so at 5 nanosecond y will be 1 then at 10 nanosecond it it is not like that at 15 nanosecond 5 plus 10 not 5 plus 10 that z will be evaluated because as they run independently so at 10 nanosecond at 10 nanosecond z equal to z will be evaluated or z will be executed then at 20 nanosecond at 20 nanosecond the w will be evaluated or executed okay so all these things run parallelly or concurrently so this is one of the example don't mix up okay that uh, it is not like that 0 then 5 then 5 plus 10 15 then 15 plus 20 is your uh, 35 it is not like uh, not like that okay because that is sequential design this is parallel this is a parallel block okay so another example is initial begin 1 x equal to 1 b 0 it completes because whatever is written inside whatever is written inside initial initial begin end it runs sequentially all these things run sequentially initial begin end okay but inside initial begin end there is a fork join okay so once the initial block is activated at zero time step because all the initial block executed only once during the simulation time and at zero time step so at zero at zero nanosecond say zero nanosecond x equal to 1 bit 0 so at a zero nanosecond let's say x equal to 0 then at 5 nanosecond because this 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 these two statements are inside the initial block so they are executed sequentially so at 5 nanosecond y equal to 1 b 1 then the next is fork the next statement is fork so this is this is a parallel block 
so after this statement after this statement this block is activated this parallel block is activated so this one this is already five time step is over because this is sequential design this is one part sequential this is second part okay so one this one part is over that so after five nanosecond five nanosecond this block will be activated so after five nanosecond so five plus the next is this this runs independently this two two runs independently so this works at 10 nanosecond this works this is executed at 20 nanosecond so this statement will be evaluated at 5 plus 10 because this all this is sequential design right this inside the initial this block this block and this block is sequential design but inside this inside this fork and join this runs independently my parallelly so this 5 plus 10 equal to 15 so at 15 nanosecond z will be evaluated then 5 plus 20 because this 10 and 20 nanosecond this z and w they are simulated they are simulated they are executed parallelly so 5 plus 20 equal to 25 25 nanosecond so 25 nanosecond w will be evaluated so once this 25 nanosecond is over means this block is this block is over now okay so this block is evaluated completely after 25 nanosecond so 25 nanosecond is over so it will exit from this join fork and join this parallel block so next one is this one so again this line will be executed it is a sequential design because it is inside the initial and initial and uh, initial begin so so th for this one first one is zero then next one is five this five then the last one is 20 because after 25 5 plus 20 so 25 nanosecond this join this join was over this this parallel block was evaluated completely the completion of completion of this parallel block was after 25 nanosecond so 5 plus 20 then plus 2 this plus 2 because it is sequential design so this one is 27 nanosecond so 27 nanosecond this x will be 1 again okay so this is how it works so 0, 0 at 0 time step this one then 5 this one then 15 this one then 5 plus 20 25 this one then 0 plus 5 plus 20 plus 2 27 this x equal to 1 uh, this was all about this fork and join and it is not synthesizable so it doesn't we doesn't uh, include this fork and join this parallel block in our logic design while designing our logic but definitely it is a useful construct for uh, for the for checking the functionality of a design that is uh, while writing the test bench you can use fork and join okay so guys if you if you guys learned anything from this uh, tutorial this fork and join then please do like, comment and subscribe this channel and thank you so much for watching.